Well, there are always ways and things that we can do to make the world a little bit better. Sure, one spot at the fair that you might uh, actually help inspire uh, or be inspired to do a little bit more is where we head now. Stephen Mickelson from the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency joins us now. Good morning, Stephen. Heck of a summer for you guys. You've had some real issues with wildfire smoke. We appreciate the time today. Hey, thanks for having me on. It's nice to be here. What is the eco experience exactly? The eco experience is uh, MPCA has been doing this in the Progress Center since 2006. We have a number of partners, uh, nonprofit and other agencies that come in and uh, we just show and educate folks on anything land, water, air. Our focus this year is our changing climate so folks can come and learn how our climate is changing and what they can do in their everyday lives to try and help the situation. It's good to give people that information. What a great resource. And I'm also curious about the interactive exhibits that are out there on renewable energy. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of uh, wind and solar power and renewable energy through, uh, we have an eco garage where you can see um, power tools, lawn implements that are all either electric or run on battery. We've got electric cars that are in there. We've got a, a, a Tesla and a Ford Mach-E so folks can sit in them and try them out and talk to actual EV owners. And um, we're also featuring a large block of ice that is melting throughout the fair. And our theme on that is how the climate is changing our our ice seasons on our lakes, rivers, and streams, and how that affects the ecosystem and the economic impacts it has. Yeah, Stephen, I mean, uh, climate change is something we talk about a lot here on CCO, and I'm glad that, that you're bringing uh, some of this to the people at the fair. I mean, the, the impacts of it we are seeing today, it's, it's costing us money today, it's changing the way we recreate today, right? It is. Uh, the shorter ice season, uh, you know, it doesn't just affect aquatic life, but it affects the industry of ice fishing, snowmobiling throughout the winter. And uh, the reason it's happening is because the water temperatures are warmer. And that can affect in the summer when the water temperatures are warmer, there's more algae growth. And you see uh, in the news, you've seen blue green algae blooms. Uh, that can happen when the water's warmer, then there's less oxygen in the water. And then that affects the aquatic life who depends on that oxygen to live and thrive. And do you feel like these interactive experiences um, really draw people in, that give them more of an idea of, of, of what they can look at and how, changes they can make in their own life? Yeah, we really do. It's um, when they can come in and, and see something, even touch something, and talk to an expert, talk to someone who's there to educate them, not to lecture them, not to try and sell them anything, just to make them aware of what the issues are and show them some options that... Um, they can apply to their everyday life to maybe make a difference in their community and the broader community. Yeah, taking it out of the textbooks or off mm -hmm. the websites and putting it in front of you in person is a great way to do it. Stephen, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, we hope that you have a, a lot of guests out there today and we hope you, know, you can help them save some money because the truth is a lot of these green sure. solutions will save money as well. Thank you. Yeah, very good point. Thank you.